you know, it's been a really fucking crazy week, actually, hasn't it? Because not only have we seen that Sony decided to do the biggest oopsie I've ever seen a gaming company do this whole year, but not only that, they decided to actually backpedal it, and yet, even though Sony was proven to be in the wrong, you still had fanboys who actually decided to, you know, say that the, what Sony was doing was completely fine and completely justified. So, what happened? Well, on Friday, May the 3rd, Sony decided to announce the whole requiring a PSN account to play Helldivers on PC, which was stupid, but however, it was actually found out before Helldivers was even released, it did already have an initial plan to actually have this whole PSN link account, but however, since Sony did not give the devs enough time, shocking, that they didn't have enough time to, you know, get the system ready and actually get the linking system set up to be, you know, secure enough so that people wouldn't actually get their data stored or hacked, kind of ironic, so they decided not to go with it and actually planned on unleash unleashing it on a later date but without telling the customers. So then, as you know, Friday, 3rd of May, they do the big announcement saying that you're going to now require to actually, you know, have your Sony PSN link with your Steam. But, you know, if you think, oh, wouldn't it be that bad? But however, because of, you know, Sony's big decision to, you know, pad their stats, not only was the game actually, you know, now locked for like God knows how many countries, but also that is, people were clearly not happy with this idea and were actually posting on forum policies about why they do not want to like their account. So then, things get even crazier on Saturday the next day. Steam, out of fucking nowhere, sees this big controversy and decides to actually start giving full refunds to anyone who actually played Helldivers. No matter the time, no matter the purchase history, they were given a full refund and yet, even after all this, Sony had then took the initiative to take Helldivers off of Steam for 117 countries. So, pretty much doubling down on one of the worst mistakes ever made and actually one of the worst business decisions ever held. And yet, somehow, it gets even crazier because the following day on the 5th of May, a Sunday, the developers actually decided you know, post like an update to this whole thing, actually pretty much stating that they've been in talks about this and how they didn't want this kind of thing and yet Sony kind of just now forced them to do this. Then, after that, not only did this happen, the game dropped from the top 10, you know, played of, you know, Steam since Helldivers released. So, that itself is also even crazier. And then the devs actually posted like a Discord screenshot that got leaked showing that they actually want negative reviews as a way to, you know, to tell Sony like what they're doing is one of the most stupidest things could ever happen yet and you think okay that's it Sony you're not going to back down you're going to be forced to have this PSN account Helldivers will die that's it the game's over but no out of nowhere literally early in the morning of UK time Sony had made the announcement that they are actually backing off this whole thing of making it so that you don't have to make a PSN account to play Helldivers and they put in a public apology and they also planned on never trying this kind of shit again for this kind of game. So we can only hope that this will actually not happen again and Sony will not re uh, Sony will realize not to try and fuck with Steam reviewers and actually Steam players because you never fuck with PC players because unlike fanboys who play your games on fucking console, Steam and general PC players will not tolerate this shit and it's been shown by the whole fact that the amount of refunds and negative reviews but, you know, it gets even stupider because you actually had fanboys, you know, console fanboys that they actually wanted to defend this and actually were trying to give their whole best reason for why, you know, this whole linking account system was fine and how hypocritical it was because other games were linked into this. So, before we get into this whole fanboyism stuff about the thingness, I want to quickly say something, right? Do you want to know the difference between you know, Ubisoft and all that, and like all this epic stuff, and uh, Sony is. You've just now seen it. It's been happening. PC players have been complaining for years and years about this. This is just Sony's biggest fuck up, and Sony has been the biggest one to do this so far. So of course, a lot more eyes are going to be on this. But the fact is that you were not caring about this, and the fact is that these fanboys actually did not, you know, know about this until it was Sony tells you so much more about actually what they care about and the fact is is like of course I decided to you know make a like dead by daily video which I then like you know cancelled because I actually wanted to talk about how like I believe that that actually helped you know fuck up the game because you know 
it made it so that because it was an epic game then it actually you know throttled it and made it you know die off because no one wants to play just epic exclusive games on pc which is one of the stupidest things you can do but i'm starting to ramble on about epic exclusives and all that and and i don't want to get into that so let's just quickly get in to the fanboy thought because i'm getting more annoyed if i have to think about this right the question we have here is from auto alex it says one thing this hell divers drama proves is that how unrealistic pc market is you can have success one day and then find a the excuse to mass refund your game even after spending 200 hours in the game and you lose all your money you made it's like investing in meme coin right so again this person clearly does not know the reason why people were upset is because the fact is that imagine this right you're playing a game right you've just paid 60 dollars for right and then all of a sudden halfway through the month of like i don't know let's say may you bought you like say you bought the game in february right and now it's may then the developers were forced to say, sorry, but you can't play this game anymore. We have to take it off shelves and you cannot play it anymore. You cannot make an account for this. So imagine that. That's exactly what the Helldivers people were going through. And that's exactly why this drama started. It was because people couldn't play the game anymore, even if they had a PSN account, because some countries did not allow you to actually fucking make PSN accounts. So they were locked out the game. Steam seen this and went, okay, if you have been locked out of the game, you can't play Helldivers anymore because you can't make a PS again, you can get a full refund, no questions asked, because that clearly marks themselves as a scam. But, you know, these fucking fanboys don't think about this. So, let's move on to our next one from M, who says, Congratulations to the PC community on getting Sony to overturn their decision. Not gonna lie, didn't think you would do it, but you did it. Like they always say, when there's a wine, there's a way. Right. When there's a wine, there's a way. So, I was complaining about the fact is that we don't get to play our games anymore, and or the fact is we now have to have a mandatory lock system put in so that we can actually play the game with a company which is fucking known to have data breaches almost every fucking month and have all their users' data stolen and given to fucking, you know, third party places. Yeah, no. That's fine. Just whine about that because, you know, at the end of the day, who cares about that? Who cares about safety of customers and all that? It's Sony. They're fine. They're great. They won't, you know, fuck up as usual. Then we have someone called Sammy that said, Time to go after every other publisher that requires an external login. Then folks, go on. I'm waiting. Right, Sammy, could you do me a quick favour? And, you know, take the plug out of your ears and actually fucking clean your eyes as well because PC players have been complaining about this. The problem is, you have not seen this. The only reason you are now actually commenting on this is because it's Sony, like I fucking said. Because, as I've also previously said, I do believe, like, the big game like Dead, uh, Dead Island 2 actually got fucked over because it required you to actually only be on Epic, thus making it an internal source. And then when it decided to come over to Steam, guess what you had to do? You had to have an Epic login, so even if you own the game on Steam, you are still mandatory to have Epic downloaded on your fucking hard drive and also on your computer. So yeah, fans were actually still complaining about that, but as usual, you have your ears plugged going la 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 until it's something to do with Sony, and then you sit there and get your fucking knight in shining armor and make sure it's nice and polished to look white for when you have to defend a big fucking billion dollar company when they fuck up. You are genuinely fucking pathetic, Sammy. And you're not the only one. The next one we have here is from Stexus Stone, who said, Helldivers need to be free online for PlayStation if you're going to bend over backwards to accommodate PlayStation players. Which, at first, I do believe, yeah, you should not be paying for online if, like, we as PC players have been fucking proven that it doesn't matter if you pay for online or not. The game will still be fine. Online stubbers will still be paid. But it's a sort of, like, you know, all of our, like, all of our twists kind of thing. Like, please, sir, can we have the game be free? Please, sir. That's like all I can see when I look at this. You're not like actually trying to demand it, which you should be doing, because you should be doing exactly what the fucking Helldivers community did, voting with their wallet. See when, you know, the money for Helldivers was actually starting to take out nose dive and was tanking Sony's sales, and so look how suddenly they bent the knee. That's exactly what you fucking fanboys have to do. Stop buying online. Stop giving them money for online. Stop buying PS Plus. If you start doing that, then guess what happens? They're actually not going to want to, you know, keep it up because they're going to lose revenue and money. But 
You're not gonna do that because you're just a mindless fucking drone that keeps buying corporate shell tactics because you're retarded. And you're not the only one I have that does this. The next one is from fucking J. It says, this is what happens when gamers speak up and show up. For those that kept defending Zone here and acting like it was nothing, can they set the fuck down? I believe you dropped your fucking crown, my guy. But then you have someone who has genuinely one of the most fucking stupidest ever takes I have seen. And that's Metal that said, weak to be honest. They should have announced that PC players have to pay for PlayStation Plus. Right, so let's just, let's just recap something, right? Sony uh, was forcing you, or was going to force you to have to make a PS Plus account to actually play Helldivers, thus increasing the risk of you losing your data because PlayStation's like data security is built out of fucking glue and popsicle sticks. But no, your actual whole takeaway from like Sony back away from this wasn't, you know, a congratulations Sony, you shouldn't have exploited them, it was, you should have done it more. They should be paying for PlayStation Plus. Everyone has to be exploited. PC players need to be exploited like I get exploited for paying online because I'm so fucking stupid. That's exactly how I see this, and that is exactly how this comes off. You just come off as someone who's annoyed that you have to pay for PlayStation Plus, but we, as PC players, don't have to pay for internet and actually play online games. It is one of the most fucking stupidest things ever. Yet, and of course, it gets stupider the more we go down the rabbit hole, because we have someone called Gamerboy TV who says, and PlayStation is the goat for a reason. How the fuck are PlayStation the goat? Explain to me how they're the goat for actually walking back one of the worst decisions of their fucking, you know, company career because it was going to actually handle their sales. How the fuck does that make them the goat? You don't fucking, you know, you don't set someone's house on fire and then, you know, try and put the house, like, the house fire out and then them come up and go and you like, go, well done. You're a true hero here. You tried to save my house after you burned it down. That's exactly what Sony was doing. They were trying to burn Helldivers down. But yeah, when they tried to actually stop it and stop the flames, you were all sitting there praising them. What the fuck? If I took crazy pills, do I live in some kind of fucking alternate reality where, you know, right is wrong and wrong is right? Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, this is like that fucking stupid Pirates of the Caribbean movie, I think it was like the third one, where the main villain gets pinned between two people, and then he just sits there and accepts his fate, and you're like, yeah, he's the goat for that. He's the goat, the main villain's the goat for taking his loss like a champ. But, anyway, we have some, we have someone called Something Smells, who says, again, patients would have been warranted and said if we've got rabid grandstandings, who just wanted to console war over a minor issue. The real question is, once this goes through, will the TOS linking of the account, will all of you be prepared and making accounts without complaint? Right, first of all, we aren't fucking console warring. PC isn't a console. So, first of all, you're fucking stupid for that. Secondly, a minor issue. Do we actually not have the fucking statistics to show that Sony actually, you know, stopped selling the game in 117 countries? Or the fact is that the screenshot I showed previously, where I like over god knows how many countries and places can't play Helldivers now because of the PSN requirement that would have happened. And then this final thing of like, what are you going to be like when it actually happens? You do realise it's not going to happen, right? Sony is not going through with this decision. They backed off because they realised how bad it looks for them to actually be doing this and how stupid it seems. But I actually think you do think they're going to go through this. They're not. It's been done. It's dusted. Move on. And speaking of move on, we have Froggy here that said, Steam should remove all the recent negative reviews for Helldivers 2. Review bombing is wrong and against TOS. Okay, so, right. First things first. Review bombing is against TOS, okay? So, what about all the PlayStation fanboys that were review bombing Starfield and I, Halo and all that? What about then? Why was it not, like, against it for then? Well, I, I will grant you that, obviously, I, I can't remember the PlayStation game at the time, but... You had Xbox fanboys doing the same to them, but it's like, two wrongs don't make a right. You can't complain about, you know, breaking two ways and then still do it. And then, your first little point about how we should remove every negative review because, you know, they've decided to stop the update. No, they shouldn't. What it means is, you actually want them to do is to sweep this under the rug and add like nothing happened because it actually makes your plastic box look bad. So, no, they're not actually going to do that. 
However, Steam does have a great feature where you can go back and change your review from negative to positive if you feel like they've actually, you know, had a positive experience after some certain updates. That's how games like No Man's Sky and all that and like Halo went from being really like badly reviewed to actually being mid to then positive because people started playing them more when more content came out. Kind of ironic now with Halo Infinite, but you know. Anyway, we have James here that says, You're too nice, PlayStation. Some of us would have not been as nice, but I know Sony has a bigger fish to fry. Paramount emoji. Okay, right, so if I'm if I'm reading this correctly. The reason they didn't do the update is because they want to buy Paramount. So because of that, they decided that they want to stop the update for Helldivers. What the fuck? What? What the fuck is he? What are you talking about? What is my man talking about here? That makes no fucking sense. Oh my god. PlayStation fanboys are getting stupider and stupider and stupider by the day. Jesus fucking Christ. Right. Well, let's end this with the final tweet from Cher that said, Now maybe the crybabies will shut the fuck up. Right. That pretty much just sums up exactly how Sony fanboys feel about this. It is so fucking stupid. The fact is that they're calling fucking PC players and actually anybody who had a disagreement about this update as crybabies, not realizing, again, Sony's fucking history of, you know, data breaching. And the fact is, the only reason they wanted this little fucking stupid update was so Sony could pad their stats for the next, like, you know, monthly, like, uh, statistics and all that. They come out to make it show, like, they are really good because, you know, more people have PlayStation accounts than Xboxes, blah, blah, blah. So they could have a big ear penis. So, at the end of this, the thing I've learned from this is, apparently, if you want to speak your mind about how Sony should not be forcing you to use another launcher or, you know, making an account for something that, you know, was never in the game to begin with, and it was only added months later so they could pad their stats, you should not get to complain about that, and you should just shut the fuck up and let Sony do whatever they want.